one thing I love is a good no makeup makeup look. It's quick, it's easy, it gets the job done, it takes very little time. And then when your skin's looking just right, oh, it just adds that extra glow, boy, it's perfect. Especially in the summertime when you're not trying to wear a lot of makeup, but you know you gotta look popping every time you go out. So today, that's what I'm gonna be trying out. I'm gonna be trying a no makeup makeup look, but using all Ilia products. If you're not familiar with Ilia, it is a clean beauty brand. Their whole focus is bringing out the natural beauty by using their products. So we're gonna go through the whole thing. Foundation, eyebrow gel, blush, everything. It's all going to be with Ilia products. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I normally don't use just one beauty brand for my entire look, but we'll see what she's got. I'm gonna run in the store, pick up a few things, and we'll get started. Let's go. y'all and welcome back to my channel balanced beauty lover where i explore balanced beauty from the inside out i'm mj i'm a skincare enthusiast and i love doing research into skincare and then sharing that information back with you today i'm actually going to be doing a get ready with me with a no makeup makeup look with only ilia beauty products i got to get ready and make sure i can get out in these streets because i haven't been out in a while and i figured why not experiment with a clean beauty brand like ilia beauty so what what is clean beauty? Well, there really isn't an official or legal definition for clean beauty because there's a largely unregulated beauty and cosmetics industry. Essentially, it's a marketing technique. I mean, just look at the Honest Company. We're safe and all plant-based and all of that. Billion dollar Honest Company under fire again. But there are brands whose mission is to create products that are made with safe ingredients and non-toxic to our health. These are ingredients that don't cause hormonal disruptions and are not carcinogens. These brands also wanna make sure there's transparency in their labeling so you know exactly what ingredients are included in their products. So anytime you see things like fragrance on a list of ingredients and they claim to be a clean beauty brand, that's a red flag. Also, if you see buzzwords on packaging like natural, eco, organic, but not really the transparency to back it up, also a red flag. Clean beauty doesn't have to be any of these things, all natural, organic, or even green. It's great if it is. The reality is you are gonna have some man-made synthetic ingredients that are safe but enhance the stability of certain ingredients to be bound together or contain some form of safe preservation. Because we all know we got some products on our shelf that may have been sitting there for a good minute, like a year too long minute, and we still put it on our face. But at the same time, could you imagine having to buy your products every few weeks because of their shelf life? Absolutely not. So make sure to be cautious of labels that could be misleading like organic, all natural, no harmful chemicals, hypoallergenic, and cruelty free. This is because the FDA doesn't regulate these claims and it's important to review the ingredients rather than just trusting the packaging. There's this website called The Good Face Project. It's a resource that offers education around cosmetic toxins. They have a pretty deep index of information about products and ingredients in those products. Just in case you're looking at a clean beauty brand or you're having some sort of adverse reaction to a product, they're a good resource to be able to look up all the ingredients and they can tell you if there's allergens or if there's some sort of toxic ingredient that could be causing your skin to react in such a way. So that brings us to Ilia Beauty. They do consider themselves a clean beauty brand. They also focus on transparency and using safe ingredients. Ilia Beauty was founded by Sasha Plasvic in 2011 and is located here in California. Basically, she was inspired by her mother's use of homeopathy remedies for her brother who was born with a lot of allergies and asthma so later on in life really more like her 30s she experienced some sort of like midlife crisis and she had burnout she moved home she was complaining about her cystic acne to her mom and her mom recommended that she look at the ingredients in the products that she was using so she decided to experiment by recreating her favorite lip balm using more natural ingredients so Ilya was born Ilya is known for being cruelty free they also have vegan options for those who live a vegan lifestyle they have a pretty 
pretty decent range of products and they emphasize organic and natural ingredients in their products like hyaluronic acid, shea butter, niacinamide, aloe leaf, jojoba oil, and many more. But they are a bit pricey, so I'm gonna find out today if some of those products are actually worth the price. So I'm gonna take a shower, we're gonna do a get ready with me for this no makeup, makeup look using all Ilia products. And I'm gonna give you an honest review about what I think about some of these products, what works, maybe what doesn't work, and maybe some things that you might wanna try, especially if you have dry skin like me. All right, let's get to it. I am all showered, I smell good, I'm ready to look even better than I already do. I'm gonna go ahead and start this whole makeup routine. Now, one thing to keep in mind, especially when you're doing a no makeup makeup look of any kind, it's all about the health of your skin. Your skin has to be all the way together. The point of it is to not really wear a foundation or if you're gonna wear a foundation, wear something that's super light. And one thing I always tell people, stay hydrated, okay? And it keeps my skin together. It also keeps my body together. Well, exercise helps keep my body together, but you know, you get the point. I've been trying out her products for the last around year. There's a few things that I already just truly enjoyed and part of the reason why I wanted to do this video because I love clean beauty products and I was like, you know what, why not? So I've really used a lot of her multi-stick. This one is Dreamer, so this one's good. I'm not gonna use this for today. I wanna make sure that I'm wearing things that pop a little bit more, even though I'm doing more of a natural look. And I've also used her, what is this? The Liquid Highlight Serum in the past, which I am gonna use for today. And I've also used their Liquid Powder. So I'm gonna use this today as well. So the first thing that I'm gonna start off by doing is going with my brows. Um, and hold up, before we even go there, can we get, can I get an applause, a round of applause for the brows please? because my last video, my brows were looking wolfish, a hot ass mess. <laughs> and I almost didn't record that video because I was just like, damn, my eyebrows look crazy as hell. But you know what? It's all about consistency and it's all about commitment. And so sometimes I'm not always gonna be 100% because I don't get my brows done every two weeks. I get my brows done every eight weeks. And so I got them done today not for this but because it was just it was it was time <laughs> it was actually worse than time so i'm actually going to use Ilya's. what is this dark brown brow pencil actually i should probably brush my brows you should brush your brows always brush your brows all right so now i'm going to go in with her brow pencil i've actually never used her brow pencil before because i normally don't use a ton of brow pencils, I think that works. All right, so I didn't really need to do much. It just kind of enhanced what was already there and I had some brow missing there, which is still kind of missing, hold on. Um, so I'm just gonna go in a little bit more there and fill it in so it's a little bit more even. Even if they're not, that's okay. The next thing I do is I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna shape underneath and just sharpen that up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with her True Skin Serum Concealer. And I got this one in the Wasabi. I was struggling a little bit when I went and I got some of these products because, you know, the one thing, I do enjoy Ilia, but I do feel like there's just not enough shades. Ooh, that is bright. Oh, this is a little cakey. I don't know if I like this. There's just not a ton of shades but I was kind of disappointed by the amount of shades. It just didn't feel like, and I'm on the lighter skin variety of black, but I struggle a lot to find matching concealers and foundations. So let me make sure there's not too much on here. There is like, it like globs onto this thing. Oh, is that pilling? Hold on. I think this is pilling. Oh my God, this is pilling. Well, there goes that one. Mm, 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 mm. Well, that's unfortunate. Cause it is, this is a struggle. I'm not really feeling this concealer, guys. And maybe, you know what, here's what I'll chalk it up to. I'm also having an eczema flare up. There might be parts of my face that are drier and I've done the whole thing. I've done a lot of hydration today, like a ton of hydration. So, you know, this might be a fluke. 
I have drier skin than usual, so this could be just some dry skin, but I think we've got it under control, and I think we have done what we need to do with this concealer for this portion of the video. So now that the brows are done, I'm going to wear foundation for this just because I wanna wear something, because I'm going out in the evening, and I just wanna even up my skin just a little bit. I have like bright areas, I don't know if you can see here. So there's like areas of my face that are brighter than other areas. So I'm going to put on the Super Serum Skin Tint she, they have it in an SPF 40, so they do a good job of making sure that this has some broad spectrum sunscreen protection in it. This has a niacinamide uh, and the hyaluronic acid and squalene. What it says is it needs, you need to shake vigorously. Now when I was trying this in the store, yeah, you gotta shake the hell out this bitch. The other thing you wanna note about this is that it is oil based. So it's great for dry skin, not so much if you have oily skin. If you have oily skin, you wanna go with things that are more water-based. And the other thing I noticed when I was testing it in store, I don't know if you can see this color, doesn't look like me, doesn't look like me at all. But weirdly enough, it takes on whatever the base color is. So if it's like a orange base or a yellow base, I don't know, is there an orange base? If it's a yellow base or a red base, it takes that on. I'm gonna put some on my hand and then put it on my brush and then I'm gonna put it on my face. As you can see, it has like a, it's got like an interesting tint to it, which is obviously much darker than my hand. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, okay, it's getting better. It's getting better. I actually, oh, this is doing, doing pretty well. It feels really nice on, is that hair? It doesn't feel heavy. It's not pilling, which is nice. I like this. For it to be such a weird color on my hand, it actually does well blending in to your skin if you have the right undertones. All right, so I'm going to take my brush, I mean my sponge, not my brush, and make sure it's wet. Dab. So the next thing that I'm going to do is put just a small amount of concealer. You don't really need a lot of concealer. It's just to maybe conceal some of the darkness under the eye. The goal is literally just to kind of cover any sort of hyperpigmentation that you might have. Um, so that way your skin looks even more even than before. Now I struggled with this concealer I'm gonna be real, real light with this bad boy. I feel like I didn't get the right color. So I'm just gonna put like very minimal. I'm gonna do just like that, like barely anything. Here. And then I have another little mini blemish. Periods, man. So now I'm gonna take that same sponge and I'm just gonna dab lightly and just lighten up slightly underneath my eye. Okay, it's not too bad underneath the eye. It's better underneath the eye than it was underneath the eyebrow. I don't know what was going on there. And you know what? It, I struggle to also find a concealer that doesn't crease. And this one is not really creasing. And it feels like it's a little hydrating too. What is in this thing? Hold up now. What is in this? Oh, okay, so this has aloe juice in it and it also has glycerin in its top five. I think that's good. Okay, so I did an okay job with the color. Still, still not happy with their mix of shades, but you know what? I found something that semi works. We, again, this might've been a fluke, but I'm gonna keep it in mind. The next thing I'm going to do is work on my eyes. I got their liquid powder matte eye tint. This one is tannin. The goal is not to do anything that's going to kind of be a heavy color. It's really about getting as close to your skin tone as possible. So uh, I've learned a lot about this eye tint. And there's a few things that you have to keep in mind when you're applying it. It does dry very quickly. And so it's kind of like you gotta get into a groove 
with actually applying it. And I'm gonna show you now. So what I do is I have this brush here. I'm just gonna take some of the uh, liquid eye powder and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my lid. And I'm just gonna dab it on my lid. It's not that much different than the color of my current lids. So now I gotta go in and I'm gonna quickly just like blend it and spread it. I've used her eye tint for a while, so I'm pretty familiar with it. It's especially good in a pinch. I'm a busy mom. I don't wanna really have to spend a ton of time on my eyes. And with this, I don't have to do a whole lot. So there, it is buildable but it can also start to pill a little bit too, so definitely be careful about that, that you're not building too much on it. So now I'm gonna use one of my chrome ones um, a little bit on the middle part of my lid. So I just wanna give it a little bit of shine. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I did before. Okay, so. Now my eyes are done. So now that I've got a little bit of pop in my eyes, I'm gonna do a little bit of a contour. This is a bronzer. It's the Daylight Highlighting Powder in the color Showdown. So this is what it looks like. So we're just gonna go in lightly here. And that's not, that's nice. That's not too crazy. But my forehead is always the struggle. The forehead is the struggle. And it's just so big. But you know what, I love myself and I love my big old forehead and I just look for multiple ways to try to figure out how to make it sexy and make it work for me. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of contour along the nose with the bronzer. Hmm, and there we go. She actually has a really nice bronzer. I feel like it's a little deep for me, but it's it's definitely good and pigmented. It goes on nicely. Um, it it feels like it looks like it's buildable. Um, it's definitely more of like a buttery texture to it, so that's really nice. So now that I've done just a touch of a contour, just to kind of define my face a little bit more, the next thing I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go in with the cream blush. Today I'm gonna use Ladybird for this one. Um, you can use this in multiple areas of your face. I don't have necessarily defined cheeks, so I always struggle with kind of figuring out where I'm gonna place this stuff. Um, so one trick that I like to do is to smile and then remember, I don't apply it while I'm smiling. I just kind of remember where I'm gonna go. And then I just do a couple of dabs. And then I can just go in with my finger and I just blend it out. This is not too crazy. It's not like a ton of color. Again, the point of it is to make your cheeks look like they're flush. Like you just went to the gym I'm actually gonna go in with her liquid highlighter. I've used this liquid highlighter a lot, but I've used it in multiple different ways. I've used it as a something I mix in a separate cream blush that is more of a liquid. I've mixed it in with the foundation. So if you choose to use this, you gotta shake it. I'm gonna put some on my hand. And then I'm gonna go in with my sponge. I'm gonna put a little bit on the sponge and dab. You don't need that much. I really do enjoy the serum because it gives a nice light highlight and it just feels like you can manipulate it a little bit. It's very versatile. Um, and then I'm just gonna go on the top of my nose, on the bridge. The other thing to do is to keep in mind, and it's a mistake I'm currently making right now, is because it is kind of a liquid serum, it, it is, you have to really make sure you don't put a lot on or you can end up in a situation like I am right now where I have like these kind of little globs. It's just a reminder that be sparing with it. You don't need to do too much with it, especially if you're using the sponge to put it on. 
So now that I have my cheeks added, I'm almost really pretty much done. The only thing I'm gonna do now is put on mascara and then some brow gel. Oh, and then I'm gonna set it. I haven't tried my, their mascara before, but I got a mini. And it's their fullest volumizing mascara. And this one is in, God, what is this? It's either too tiny or I'm getting old. I think I got the dark brown. Yeah, this is the dark brown. Ah, uh, this mascara is pretty good. It is volumizing. It does feel like it's easy to put on. It doesn't glob on. It's separating the lashes quite nicely. It does elongate the lashes. It does add volume to the lashes. I, I have lashes. I look like I have lashes. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, and maybe I should have done this earlier, but I was talking. All right, so I'm going to now use the in-frame brow gel. Um, it's clear. So far the consistency is okay. It's a little thick to me. It kind of reminds me of Patrick Ta's brow gel when it comes out like super thick and a little gloopy. Is gloopy a word? Maybe it's not. Huh. And just as I thought, it's a little clumpy on and I actually took some off. It clumps a little bit. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this right now. You know, sometimes you're looking for that gelled look with your eyebrows. It's not really giving that, so it's more of a natural look. It's just a little thick. It just feels a little thick as far as the consistency is concerned. We'll see what happens when it dries, and hopefully it does not dry and look like there's a bunch of excess gel on my eyebrows. The last two things I'm gonna do. I got their Blue Light Mist, their uh, setting spray. Okay, we're just gonna spray it. I don't feel it. Whoa! What is that? Oh, that's, that's different. Is it, did I get a defective one? Oh no, I hope I didn't get a defective one. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. I should have closed my mouth. That is messy. That is messy. I don't know how I feel about that. I also got it in my mouth because I was doing too much, but I think I got enough on. No, I don't think we're gonna be doing that. We're not gonna go with that. But if you wanna try it, go for it. It is their Blue Light Mist Hydrate Set and Protect. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm feeling that too much. I think I might've had a defective bottle. I don't know. The fact that it came out on my hand more than it came out on my face, I don't know what to do with that. All right, last but not least, we're gonna get these lips together. And I'm not going to do a lip liner this time because I don't have an Ilia lip liner and I wanna stay true to the purpose of this video. So instead, I have their uh, Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. And this one is in Saint. I've actually worn this a couple of times because I got it a couple weeks ago. I appreciate it, it gives me a nice, tint to my lips. My lips don't feel like they're speaking to the world because sometimes you can have what you think is a tinted uh, lip balm and then it ends up like either really greasy, overly colorful, and then you feel like I just want a little tint. I just wanted my lips to feel juicy. I think it does hydrate the lips well. It keeps the lips looking moist. And Saint, for me, I was unsure about how this color was gonna do, but it does really well. It adds like a nice rosiness to my lips so that they don't feel like they have a ton of color, but it feels like it's just enough color. Mwah. We are done. We are done. We are done, done, done. We are done and I'm ready to go and I'm going to get my hair together and then you can see kind of how the entire look looks, but I hope you like it. I think I think it turned out really well. There's some things that I just, I don't know if I would ever get again. The concealer is a touch and go for me. I don't know, I don't know, maybe it was a bad day. I don't know what was happening with that, but the concealer was touch and go for me. Can't say enough about their multi-sticks. I'm a little on the fence about the brow gel. I just have to see how it looks by the end of the evening. 
I do, I did like the brow pencil. The brow pencil seemed like it, it filled in well, it looked natural, it didn't kind of feel like it was kind of being drawn on your face. So this one turned out really nicely. Um, the liquid light serum, highlight serum i've used multiple times before i would definitely recommend that but just be sparing with it don't don't you don't need a whole lot the bronzer was lovely i, I want to play with that one a little bit more and just see where i go with that and i like the mascara so out of all of that i think it came in a, oh and the the blue light mist now nah, y'all can keep that i'm good on that and the foundation i really actually like the foundation we'll see how it feels by the end of the evening. And then I'm probably gonna do it again during the day and see how it feels by the end of the day. But it was it was better than what I assume. It's better than what it looks like when you're initially putting it on and you're just like, I'm not sure how we gonna do with that. Oh, I should probably, I should probably put some on. Hold on, one second, one second. All right, so I'm ready to hit the streets. I've got my makeup good to go. It's got a nice, lovely, no makeup makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that I learned a lot about Ilia products today, and I definitely have some products that I'm going to be using in the future, and some that I probably won't be, but that's okay. Because if you're really into clean beauty, then Ilia products, I think, are a good go-to as far as maybe some of the things. I think some of the things may not be my cup of tea, but overall, I think as far as a clean, product company they've done a really good job at having a lovely line of products that feel like they are um, great when you have sensitive skin but also if you are just making sure to only use brands that are very focused on clean ingredients and not putting a lot of things that are going to be overly reactive to your skin. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to follow me on social. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok at Balanced Beauty Lover. I also have a website, balancedbeautylover.com, where you can find more information about stuff we talked about today and just all things related to skincare. So thank you so much again. You enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, y'all, holla back.